Are you saying this right? This car is driving itself. True story. <laughs> Today's video is brought to you by Boston Bridges. Check out the website, go through, cop some merch, or we stay fly. Today's beautiful specimen and my sponsorship is being brought to you by the good people at Durham Auto Mall. Here we have the 2015 Honda Genesis. You can already tell by this meaty grill that this is a luxury vehicle. Instead of having the Honda logo on it, you have the Genesis logo representing that this is their luxury brand. And by this being their luxury brand, they really touched a whole lot of points that you've come to know Mercedes, BMW, Lexus, and uh, coming into it, just looking at the vehicle, I was kind of thrown back because uh, I had heard about, you know, Honda coming out with the Genesis and what they was going to do and how it was going to be like their luxury line. And then I instantly thought about Infinity, I thought about Lexus, I thought about so many other brands that did the luxury line and I instantly thought was this going to be another failed attempt at luxury or would this be them stepping into the game and being actual contenders One of the main things that you see when you hop inside the beautiful 2015 Honda Genesis is this immaculate wood that they have in the inside. And it goes all the way around, even in the back of the car. And when you close the door, feel like you are being encapsulated in the greatness. Let's hit that again. Wow. Doors just sound really good when they close, like you're being safely encapsulated, like this is somewhere that you want to be. You have your buttons on the fly for basically everything you need to do. You have shifting on the fly. Your lights are on the fly. Your windshield wipers. And even with this car is the dope heads up display. Let's see if I can get yeah. focus on that for you guys. It has the heads up display and it tells you Basically everything that's going on down to when somebody's beside you, somebody you're getting too close to somebody, or somebody's getting too close to you. You have the infotainment system right here, pardon me you guys. Uh, yeah, I'm not talking with gum in my mouth today, so yeah, don't, don't talk bad about me today. Uh, and as you see, you have the cup holders right here. You have another spot. For your phone chargers, you have USB. I don't know if that's a 2.0 USB or not. And then it closes ever so gently. Steering wheel. 
this is the type of steering wheel that yes I would want to put a steering cover on because it's, it doesn't feel like a pencil but it's not like sturdy it's not <laughs> it's not a big type steering wheel and you know with a car of this magnitude you want to be safe when you grab the steering wheel I just don't feel like <laughs> this is like one of those brolic type of wheels uh, you know as in other cars that I've driven one of the dope things about this car is the moonroof we have a full moonroof and not only is it a moonroof it actually opens also Pretty dope, huh? Then you can shut everything down with the touch of a button. Some of these cars, like I've driven and test road and helped a lot of cars and bought a lot of cars which is why I got into doing car reviews because I love vehicles um, I've seen cars that had like these decent key fobs and then I've seen cars that had cheap key fobs this is the 2015 Honda Genesis key fob it looks nice I mean there's something to hold on to it's not super big it's not super small it's not a uh, generic like when when you hold it even when you look at it you know that this is a decent key fob something that you know with all key fobs if you lose it it's going to be pricey to replace <laughs> all you entrepreneurs out there young businessmen that get drove around and need to get drove around because you guys are doing things on your laptop or doing things on your phone and you really don't have time to focus on the road this vehicle just might be for you notice how i hop in here ever so easily and have no problem sitting here the seat could actually come back some and uh i'm still comfortable there's a lot of room in here Go to let down the side arm bar which has my cup holders in it it has the heat controllers on it i can control the back shade and uh have a nice view of the sunroof if it was open but overall being back here you're still in the lap of luxury and you're still comfortable I actually like it back here. <laughs> I would want to get drove sitting back here. I like the view. And even back here, you have your lights. You have your coat hanger. That's typical in any luxury car. You have your shades. Side shades, which you do manually. And then you have your back shade. Let's say control for your back shade right here. Same as you having a control for your back shade up front. One of the nice things with luxury cars, I mean, not just this luxury car, but a lot of luxury cars for like the past 10 years or whatnot, is having a method to be able to open the trunk without even touching the trunk. Some cars have it so that you can put your foot up under there and you know open or you can come and wave your hand into the open if the key fob is on you and then some cars you can just simply press a button you see all of this open space I can reach in here and touch the back wall of the trunk like it's no problem but of course I have a long wingspan you have 
fuel door release manually if it won't open from the outside you have hooks right here so that if you need to secure some things in the back with a strap or a bungee cord you have those now getting to the spare you lift up one carpet and you get another carpet then you got to pull this up and then you have your spare you have your jack and you have your super big battery uh, almost looks like a truck battery but that's one massive battery though really clean back here they didn't put any extra carpeting back here <laughs> as they put enough carpet on this right here and simply when you want to Shut everything down if you put your golf clubs in, your groceries, or whatever it is that you choose to put into your 2015 Honda Genesis. You can simply touch a button and walk away. It's time to see the beef. With this beautiful car, you know some may have thought that this car would come with a V8 or you know some massive engine, but Hyundai chose to put their V6 motor in here. And the motor actually runs good, it's, it's powerful. Um, puts out great courses you know I'm not really uh, a super numbers nut so you know I ain't really about the quoting of the numbers and all of that like the, the further that I go with doing car reviews and getting into these things like maybe I will become like a numbers nut but I'm really not a numbers nut I like the fact that these cars are made eloquently and with with grace so that when you drive them you understand that a lot of time and a lot of energy went into these vehicles like I said it's a v6 it uh, doesn't have an aftermarket intake so you still run a stock on that aspect but you have plenty of space here you got space down there to bring in a lot of cooler air and anytime you can get cooler air into the engine bay you can help your car to breathe better, as I always say. And after you guys have seen up front, you know what's going on with the rest of the car. You know how I feel about it. So, I guess a little bit. Um, but we'll get more into how I really feel about this car, I guess, during the drive. So that's what we're going to get into. Plus, it's hot out here. You understand? It's NC. We in October, boy. It's still hot. Waiting on it to get cool. Let's get into this drive so I can get into the AC. So right here you have drive mode. When you press drive mode, you see I press it one time, it comes up to eco. Press it again, it goes to sport. So you know me, I like to drive in sport. That's wrong. Clearly tell that it's a V6, and you know it, it has high revs, but also you can tell that this car is heavy to the point of like the V6 is holding it down. But if it had a V8 or even if it had had a turbo on the V6, it would put it in another spot. Probably would have put it in another tax bracket also. Um, Although I like the way it drives, I, I can't say that I'm talking down about it because I'm not. I like the way it drives, it's comfort level, 
is very, very good. Just sitting in the seat, like, just making minor adjustments to the seat. I like it. I like it a lot. Since I first seen it, I didn't take a lot of notice to it because at first I was just wondering, you know, what it was and um, what kind of car it was. I didn't know if it was this generic car that was coming out and, you know, somebody was just trying to come out with another vehicle to get into the vehicle pool. But when I looked at it for real and I came to find out that it was a Hyundai, I said, hey, I drove the, the little coupe that they had and the coupe was a turbo. I was impressed, I was highly impressed. And when I came to check this out or, you know, after I was notified that it was on the lot, I went and looked at it and Looking it over, I was impressed. So I said to self, I said, this is this is something that I'm going to put on the list to review. And so here we are. Overall driving. I would say that the usability in this car is, is real practical. I can say that because it has a V6, it has to be good on gas. I'm not gonna say that it's gonna be good on gas like a Prius or a Camry or something like that, but it has to be good on gas because the V6, most V6s are always practical, even in the climate that we're living in right now when gas is $2.50. So, I think that like this is practical for our climate. We need more cars like this that are not 80, 90, and 100,000 dollar cars that everyday people can own and feel like they have something good and not just some through together clip on piece on car. Like nobody can that. On the highway, you even feel like you're floating, like. <laughs> I like how it drives. And to my peoples, to my good peoples, always remember, regardless of the process, regardless of the time, regardless of the energy that's being put forth towards you, Stop yourself and look at yourself. Realize how you are conveying yourself. Because people will remember you for how you portray yourself, regardless of what situation it is. So, step outside of yourself. Know how you want yourself to be looked at and how you want yourself to be viewed. Because you don't want those things to come back on you. And no matter who's saying what, or what type of energy is being conveyed to you, take the time out to stop, smile, and say something positive, regardless if it's simply to say, have a nice day. Until the next time, you guys, I hope your day has been nice, and I hope you have a bomb last week. I'll holler at you next time.